Getting an interesting update on the new queue line in downtown Detroit. The service was free for months, but now riders are supposed to pay to ride. Our Coco McAvoy takes a look to see how that's affecting ridership and if everyone's paying their fair share. Thousands of people ride the queue line, but since the ride stopped being free, ridership went down 40%. But a spokesperson with the queue line says they're not worried yet because it's only been a couple of weeks. The queue line has become a part of downtown Detroit's landscape, just like the Taurus. But daily riders noticed a difference after Labor Day. The tracking's been down lately, so that's not so great, but usually it's pretty packed. Um, once they had to start paying for it, it's been a little less packed. For a couple of weeks now, the queue line has started charging people, and ridership went down to about 3,000 daily rides compared to the 5,000 daily rides while it was free. They should have left it free. Her reasoning? It costs just as much to catch the bus as it does the Line. But are some people not paying for a ride on the queue line at all? A spokesperson for the queue line says the national average collection rate for streetcars is just over 32 percent, and the queue line is collecting about 40 percent right now. Oh, nothing that uh, has has transpired. He really surprised us very much. You know, we expected. Uh, to have a little bit of a dip on the ridership, you know. Some residents are also hopeful ridership will eventually improve. They'll just have to wait and see. A spokesperson says there will be ambassadors at all of these stops and on the queue line streetcars to make sure people know how to pay and they expect ridership to increase once again. In downtown Detroit, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.